Good afternoon and happy Sabbath to everyone. It is good to see so many of you here. Uh, it's good to see, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's the end coming. And um, all right, this uh, this uh, Sabbath, I would like to share something that is very interesting. Uh, at least for me, I'm not sure for you. It may confuse you a little bit, but I hope that this some confusion will bring you into something that you will have, uh, you will wonder. Okay, so uh, let there be light. Now the question comes when, uh, you know, uh, part of us, many of us will question, for example, like our existence, where we come from. Or maybe the next question, the next big question will be, why we are here? What is the purpose of we exist here right now? Then uh, we come back, you know, we come back to the, the very beginning as said in the Bible. You know, it says in, uh, in Genesis chapter 1, you know, verse 3 and 5, on day 1, God created the light. God said, let there be light. And then so on, we have, you know, we can see the history, I mean the story in uh, Genesis 1, day 2, day 3, day 4, day 5, and in the end, at day 6, it says uh, that God created the land, creatures, Adam, Eve. So many things happened on day 6. You know, God created complex animals, creatures, and even, you know, from uh, the smallest one, from the worm, from uh, the insects, to big animals and to human, to us. God created on the six days. And what happened on the six days? Well, Adam named all the animals and then he introduced himself to the animals. So many things happened on the sixth day. But on the first day, God just said, let there be light. Why? Why just one? On the first day, can't God create so many complex things on the first day? But he just simply said, let there be light. Now the problem, uh, the question will be, what is light? Why God created light? That's the question. Well, if you are in school, if you are students, you may be taught like, okay, light is an electromagnetic radiation. That's what we learn in science. And maybe, okay, we can see that the electromagnetic radiation, it, uh, it has, uh, you know, so many uh, frequency from the lowest one to the highest one, includes sound, and then some question come, came out. Is sound a light? Because, you know, light is an electromagnetic radiation, Colors, light, oh yes, we understand and we have learned that colors actually are light. So, what is actually light? Is it just electromagnetic radiation? It is a particle or is it, is it a wave? Now, when you look at the electromagnetic radiation, it, you, can, you are looking into the waves, right? From short waves to long waves to high frequency, low frequency, they are waves. But light acts as, as uh, like a wave. Yes, it's true. But is it a particle? Yes, it's true. Now, in physics, it is hard to combine these two, wave and particles. Because particles is something that you can, like, can see, something uh, that is physical. All right. So people are trying to understand what is light. What is light? Now, we know they have this uh, term that is called photon. And what is photon? Photon is a packet of energy, okay? Packet of energy that, uh, that will affect, okay, that will, that will affect uh, a matter, all right? So it is, they, they call it like, photon is actually the essence of Light. All right. So, uh, not to make you 
so much into confusion. All right. So what happened is that uh, their theories came out, and one of the theories came out because they tried to explain what is light. Is that this Big Bang theory? It was proposed in 1931 by Georges, uh, French name I said to Lemaitre. Okay, uh, he was a Jesuit priest, okay, and a, and a scholar, and he proposed that now you know the universe came out with this Big Bang. So it was uh, happened a long time ago. And, uh, and recently, in October 27, 2014, okay, uh, Pope Francis said like this, when we read the account of creation in Genesis, we risk thinking that God was a magician, complete with an all-powerful magic wand, but that was not so. Well, that's what um, uh, Pope Francis said uh, when he uh, talked in one of the Catholic acad Academy uh, he, uh, if I'm not mistaken, in Chile. All right. So, it seems like there's a Big Bang, this Big Bang. Hmm. And many of us, uh, Christians, will oppose this idea of Big Bang as, you know, as the starting point of life. But what, how come this Big Bang, when they have this theory, happen? What, is, what started the Big Bang? And, you know, the theory will go down... Uh, those, you know, they will say that this happened okay, because of uh, matter becomes so dense, so small. It started actually from something very, very small you cannot see. And in the end, it actually they said, they said that it started right from nothing. Right now, the recent uh, theories that they, the scientists, physicists, tries to come with the explanation of light. They say that it is where it is, there's a high possibility that what we have now started from nothing. Now, let's look into uh, the, the, this chart here. If we said, okay, uh, all right, the bamboo here, made of what? What made this bamboo? What made this bamboo? At atoms, carbon. Okay, right? Well, basically, most living thing, things, they are uh, car uh, carbons, made of carbon. What made carbon? Atoms. Correct. What made carbons? Atoms. What made atoms? Well, atoms. Inside atoms, there are nu nucleus and the electrons, the proton and the neut neutron. Okay, is that all? What inside the nucleus, the proton? What inside the proton? Yeah, well, they have positron. Okay, and then it say also there. Are what inside the proton or neutron? They found out that there's a. They they call it quark, quark, and there are. Six type of quarks, the up quarks, down quarks, uh, what else? The strange quarks, yes. <laughs> up quarks, yes. So many type of quarks. <laughs> All right? But then the question is that, so you can see here, okay, if the atom is like this big, uh, you can see the scale here, so it becomes smaller and smaller until the quark. But what made quark? A quark is made of what? Yes, you're correct. Quark made of light. Now, quark made of photons. Now, when people try to understand these things, and they said about photon, photon is weightless, ma no mass. How come it be? No mass, it's nothing. So, you can see here right now, physicists, that they are saying that well, it is very, very possible that what anything that we have here is actually come out of nothing. When we zoom inside, it will come up into 
photon, light. You, inside you, when you look into the subatomic particles, you are light. We can see the standard model of elementary particles here, uh, the, different, the six kinds of quarks. And then, of course, under the, the other side, the leptons, there's electrons, moons, and so on. So you don't have to know about that. All right? And also, there's this part, the carrier of these particles, the photons, the gluons, the Z boson, the W bosons. Okay, never mind. You don't have to understand that. Uh, you know, when, uh, when the Big Bang Theory came, uh, uh, Albert Einstein said it is something that is impossible. You know, he, uh, he actually said that, you know, the Big Bang cannot, cannot happen just like that. You know, it's something, it's an absurd idea. All right. Now, what is light? According to the Bible, in 1 John 1 verse 5, this is the message which we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light. And in him is no darkness at all. So what is light? God is light. So in the first beginning, Genesis 1 verse 3, and God said, let there be light. He brings light into the world. What, happened, what, what is the condition of the world at that time? It is dark. And when God came, He brings light. Because God is light. Where light comes from? Light comes from God. Because God is light. And that's why we cannot, you know, scientists, physicists, they could not understand things about matters because they, number one, they don't believe in God. And they try to find out where we come from and they will end up with, we come from light. It is hard to understand. How, how come we are light? Okay, because when we come into the sub-particles or sub-sub-particles of atom, we will end up with photon. And photon is actually... It's not massless, without weight, it has weight, it can give a f uh, effect to things, but it is also at the same time, it can uh, uh, act as a wave. So the, the, the physicists came out with this uh, duality of, uh, dual, uh, dual properties of photons. That is, it, it is a particle, and it is also it may be uh, a wave. All right. So, so, so many things about uh, light, and it's still a mystery until now. It still remains a big mystery until now. What is light? But for us who believe in God, it is very clear the Bible said God is light. And in, first, in John 1, verse 6 to 9, what it says? It says about what? That Jesus is the light. Right? John want to show the world about the coming of the light. That's in John 1, verse 6 to 9. Okay. And we learn also about light, about this, uh, what uh, they call this name, um, this term, Shekinah. It is light from God. And Shekinah described as God's glory. So the light comes from God, and it's actually His glory. So, so God's glory is the light. God's glory is the light. And when we learn that God's glory is the light, okay, what is glory? Because light equals to God's glory. What is God's glory? God's glory, yes, it's light. What is God's glory? Yes, Brother Wallace, it's the character of God. God's glory is His character. So, light is comes from God, God is light, and God is, uh, light is His glory, and His glory is His character. All right, and come the next question. Now we have the idea of where we come from. We are created by God, and we are, we are created starting from the first day. 
let there be light. So what is the purpose for God to create us? In Isaiah 43 verse 7, it says like this, Everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, I have formed him. Yes, I have made him. We are created, we are formed for what? For his glory. For God's glory. That is why we are created. We are created for his glory. Isaiah 42 verse 12, Let them give glory to, to the Lord and declare his praise in the coarse lands. So this is the purpose of why God created us, for His glory. We have to share, we have to preach the glory of God. Now, glory of God is what? His character. That means when Jesus says in Matthew 5, verse 14 to 16, You are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. Now we can see something that is new when we learn that God is light and, his and uh, the light is His glory and His glory is His character. When Jesus said, you are the light of the world, He is saying that you have to share God's character. You have to show God's character to the world. Okay, so we can see why God in the first place, said, let there be light. Because our world right now is full of darkness. And when we look into the present condition, we are living in darkness. And that is why Jesus said, you are the light of the world. Because the world is full of darkness. What is the purpose of light in the first place? Light is to dispel Darkness. That is the purpose of light, is to dispel, to get rid of darkness. So that's the purpose of light. And we are the light of the world. The purpose of, for us as the light of the world is to dispel, to get rid of darkness. And, uh, you know, in the Bible, darkness uh, in, um, in the original language, in Greek, it calls what? Uh, abusos. You know, bottom, bottom, bottomless pit, dark, equivalent to darkness. So we can see that the reason that God put human here in the world it is to get rid of darkness. Not just for this world, but in the end, to get rid of dark, uh, the darkness forever. That is the reason that we are here. In the end, God will end sin, which, which is the darkness. And God is using us so that we will be able to show His character to everyone. And in the end, God will show that darkness could not mix with light. And at the end of the world, God will eliminate darkness. There will be no more darkness. And there will be just light. We know that in heaven, it, the heaven was lighted by the glory of God. So the question of uh, the, the, question of, uh, the physicists that, that they have now, what is light? They could not answer. But for us, Light is God. What is light? You are the light of the world. We have to keep this in mind that we are the light of the world. That we have been created from light. From God. God is light. So I hope right now when you go back and learn more on the, uh, the, the quantum physics, quantum mechanics, about light. Okay, they will be, give you so many uh, explanations, but in the end, they will come into conclusion, we don't know anything. Yes, they will come into that kind of conclusion, we don't know anything. We have to take this in faith. God is light. Amen. And we, as the light of the world, we have to reflect God's character. 
And I hope that every one of us will put this in our mind. And as uh, the people of God in the end time, this is our responsibility to shine for God, to shine for His glory. Amen. May God bless you.